Hello, I'm Mariam Namazi with the headlines on Al Jazeera. Egypt's interim president has named two new senior cabinet ministers to help lead a caretaker government. Former finance minister Hazem El Bablawi will take up the post of prime minister. And Mohammed El Baradei has been given the role of deputy president for foreign affairs. Al Jazeera Shireen Tadros is in Cairo with the latest. Well, the Tamarud or rebel campaign have said that they weren't consulted over this um, constitutional declaration. And they say that they haven't rejected it, but they have certain amendments to it that they're going to be presenting to the interim president. Now, this is pretty much a nightmare scenario for the military, who are very keen right now to push this political transition forward as fast as possible. More than 50 people have been injured after a car bomb exploded in the Lebanese capital. It happened in a southern suburb of Beirut in an area said to be a stronghold of the armed group Hezbollah. A retired army general Hisham Jabber says the culprits wanted to warn the group. I think the, the target was not, you know, any person or institution of Hezbollah. The target, the target was the security. It's a message sent to Hezbollah that we can arrive inside your home. And in Syria, the battle for control of the strategic city of Homs is intensifying. Calls for a ceasefire during the holy month of Ramadan appear to be falling on deaf ears. Government forces have refused the truce offer, and rebels haven't laid down their weapons either. The government says it's now in control of large parts of Homs just 11 days after a renewed offensive. Well, don't forget, you can watch Al Jazeera online. Just head to our website, aljazeera.com, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are your headlines. I'm Mariam Namazi. Bye for now.